Earliest groups of hunter-gatherers, before 5000 BC. The area that is now the Netherlands was inhabited by early humans at least 37,000 years ago, as attested by flint tools discovered in Worden in 2010. In 2009 a fragment of a 40,000-year-old Neanderthal skull was found in sand dredged from the North Sea floor off the coast of Zealand. During the last ice age, the Netherlands had a tundra climate with scarce vegetation and the inhabitants survived as hunter-gatherers. After the end of the ice age, various Paleolithic groups inhabited the area. It is known that around 8000 BC a Mesolithic tribe resided near Bergamer Mar, area which is today is known as Friesland. Another group residing elsewhere is known to have made canoes. The oldest recovered canoe in the world is the Pes Canoe. According to a technique known as radiocarbon dating analysis it was constructed somewhere between 8200 BC and 7600 BC. This canoe is exhibited in the Drents Museum in Assen. Autochthonous hunter-gatherers from the Swifterbent culture are attested from around 5600 BC onwards. They are strongly linked to rivers and open water and were related to the southern Scandinavian Urtaboye culture, between 5300 BC and 4000 BC. To the west, the same tribes might have built hunting camps to hunt winter game, including seals. The arrival of farming, around 5000 to 4000 BC. Agriculture arrived in the Netherlands somewhere around 5000 BC with the linear pottery culture, who were probably Central European farmers. Agriculture was practiced only on the lowest plateau in the very south, area which is today known as Southern Limburg, but even there it was not established permanently. Farms did not develop in the rest of the Netherlands. There is also some evidence of small settlements in the rest of the country. These people made the switch to animal husbandry sometime between 4800 BC and 4500 BC. Dutch archaeologist Leendert Lou Kuijmans wrote. It is becoming increasingly clear that the agricultural transformation of prehistoric communities was a purely indigenous process that took place very gradually. This transformation took place as early as 4300 BC to 4000 BC and featured the introduction of grains in small quantities into a traditional broad-spectrum economy. During this period, an oak figurine was found in Willemstad, the Netherlands. Dating from around 4500 BC, on display in the Rijksmuseum van Oudeden in Leiden. Funnelbeaker and other cultures, around 4000 to 3000 BC. The Funnelbeaker culture was a farming culture extending from Denmark through northern Germany into the northern Netherlands. In this period of Dutch prehistory, the first notable remains were erected. The dolmens, large stone grave monuments. They are found in Drenthe, and were probably built between 4100 BC and 3200 BC. To the west, the Vlartingen culture, around 2600 BC, an apparently more primitive culture of hunter-gatherers survived well into the Neolithic period. Corded Ware and Bell Beaker cultures, around 3000 to 2000 BC. Around 2950 BCE there was a transition from the Funnelbeaker farming culture to the Corded Ware pastoralist culture, a large archaeological horizon appearing in Western and Central Europe, that is associated with the advance of Indo-European languages. This transition was probably caused by developments in Eastern Germany, and it occurred within two generations. The Bell Beaker culture was also present in the Netherlands. The Corded Ware and Bell Beaker cultures were not indigenous to the Netherlands but were pan-European in nature, extending across much of northern and central Europe. The first evidence of the use of the wheel dates from this period, about 2400 BC. This culture also experimented with working with copper. Evidence of this, including stone anvils, copper knives, and a copper spearhead, was found on the Velu. Copper finds show that there was trade with other areas in Europe as natural copper is not found in Dutch soil. Thank you for watching. Please, like and share. And, don't forget to subscribe.